All right, so if I had to become a six-figure data analyst all over again, starting from zero, here's exactly what I'd do. I went from being a middle school teacher making $40,000 a year to a six-figure data analyst in just a few years. But here's the thing, everything has changed since I started. The job market is harder, the tools are different, and AI is changing everything. So if I had to start over today, I'd do things totally different than I did back then. In this video, I'm gonna show you my exact step-by-step -step plan, the same one that my coaching clients Used to get six-figure data jobs. This isn't just theory. I'm giving you the actual blueprint that works right now, including how to use online courses and new tools to get there faster. The first thing we want to do is learn the basics faster, but also smarter. The primary skills I'd focus on first are Excel, SQL, and Power BI. Then when you're ready, Python. I'd start with Excel because it's literally everywhere and you will most definitely use it at some point. Focus on things like pivot tables, XLOOKUPs, Power Query, and creating visualizations. There's actually quite Quite a bit you can do with Excel and it definitely has its place. Then move on to SQL. This is honestly where you should spend most of your time. SQL is the language of databases and exists everywhere in the data world. Start with the big six for basic select statements, then move on to joins, case statements, CTEs, subqueries, and window functions once you get more advanced. Another reason you want to spend some decent time with SQL is because you'll probably come up against a technical interview at some point. Coding on the spot is hard, so the more comfortable you are, the better that that you'll do. I've been in many technical interviews where even though I knew the solution, I was sweating in the moment and uh, just didn't do very well because in the real world, no one is breathing over your shoulder asking you to perform a query on the spot, but you got to deal with it when it comes to technical interviews. Okay, now for Power BI, the basics that you want to focus on are data transformations with Power Query, data modeling, DAX, and of course, creating reports and dashboards. Those are like the bare essentials to Power BI. Basically, just get used to building a lot of dashboards to learn how to make reports that are both functional and aesthetic. Now, a few notes on Python. While it is an essential data skill, I wouldn't necessarily start there. I've seen tons of folks start with Python as their first tool, get overwhelmed, burn out, and then just waste a bunch of time. When I was first learning data tools, I had a hard time knowing where to start initially. I took random courses with random platforms and looked at a bunch of disjointed YouTube tutorials to try and get started. But what really works best is following a structured learning plan, something that can guide you step by step what you need to learn and provide the materials and courses for doing so, all towards a specific goal. All right, so real talk, if I was starting out on my journey to becoming a six-figure data analyst today, there's one thing I'd do way sooner. I would dive straight into DataCamp, who again are the sponsors of today's video. When I was learning Python for data analysis, I spent so much time bouncing between random tutorials and unstructured resources, which honestly just slowed me down. What I love about DataCamp is how everything is structured into clear learning paths, like their data analysts and Python track. You start from the basics, even if you've never coded before, and walk through hands-on projects using real-world data sets, which is the fastest way to build skills that actually stick. And here's the best part. To master dashboards and business intelligence, their data analyst and Power BI track is equally practical. It guides you through building reports, visualizations, and prepping for the official Microsoft PL300 certification, which is also something that I happen to have. And here's the best part. As DataCamp partnered directly with Microsoft, you can get 50% off the official data analyst and Power BI Microsoft exam. Since it is a paid exam, that's a pretty sweet deal. So you're effectively getting the best of both worlds, practical experience and a pathway to earning industry recognized certifications for a discounted price. I've been recommending DataCamp for years. I've taken a ton of their courses because you just log in, you start learning, no downloads, no setup, just practical progress. If you're serious about landing a data analyst job or want to level up your skills efficiently, check out the link in the description to get started. Thanks to DataCamp for supporting the channel. So once you have a solid curated learning plan from a trusted source, you reach your goals faster since you're not wasting any time by spending too long in some areas and not enough in others. The next step you'll want to take is to build practical projects and create a portfolio. But you don't want to build just any projects. You want to build engaging and interesting projects that are actually useful versus just being technical and boring, which a majority of projects are, to be honest with you. For example, I once created a BI project that analyzed tech layoffs in the US. It was a real data set with information I was actually interested in. Essentially, I'd recommend creating three to five projects that cover your full skill set. Analysis with SQL and Python, data transformations and visualizations with Power BI and Excel. You can overlap skills in your projects too. It doesn't have to be one project per skill, though if you do want to do a project that is entirely devoted to 
to one skill. That's absolutely fine as well. But make sure you have at least three solid ones. Three quality projects is better than 10 mediocre ones that no one wants to look at. Beyond the actual analysis, you'll always want to include some kind of visuals for your results, as well as screenshots to document your progress. And finally, you'll want to create a project write-up for each one of those projects. A project write-up is essentially a summary of your project that accomplishes the following. It introduces the data set and the prompt, shares what steps you took to complete the analysis, and explains your findings. So Zach is one of my mentees who did all of this very well. He created tons of projects and posted about them publicly on LinkedIn throughout his job hunt journey. Eventually, he landed a six-figure fully remote data job as a result of putting himself out there. He made this career transition straight from being a full-time teacher, just like I was. Super proud of the guy, and he's become a great friend. And by the way, if you're preparing your resume for a data analyst role, I've created a free resume template that's helped my clients land interviews at top companies. You can grab it by using the link in the description below. Finally, step number three, the path from a five to a six-figure salary. All right, so let's say you got your skills, you've got your portfolio, but then what? So here's some other ways to navigate the data job hunt and stand out. Things that I've seen make a huge difference in people's journeys, including my own. The first is social media presence. So I 100% recommend getting on LinkedIn. It may seem cringy to some. You just share about your journey, document your progress, teach people a few things, and post about some of your projects. You could just take a very transparent approach, and this can still help you get noticed by a lot of people. Beyond that, you want to make sure you have an optimized resume tailored to each role to the best of your ability, because I know that's a lot. And hey, I have a great free resume template you could check out in the description. When it comes to portfolios, keep building your portfolio and improving it by replacing older projects with new and better ones. And in terms of actually finding good roles outside of LinkedIn, I'd recommend platforms like dataanalyst.com that are specifically curated for data analyst jobs and the salary always listed on those. But keep in mind that you will need to apply to a lot of jobs before you get hired. I actually ran a poll on LinkedIn recently that confirmed 40% of people said they got their most recent job from cold applying. So even though cold applying may seem like it's dead, it's totally not. And when it comes to the actual interview, be sure to come prepared with a strong introduction and prepare situational answers using the STAR format. The STAR format is situation, task, action, result. Don't forget to ask good questions and be sure to smile. Very easy thing to forget. To prepare for technical interviews, you can use platforms like interviewmaster.io or Dataford to practice SQL and Python interview questions. You can also check out my video on how to navigate technical SQL interviews right here. Finally, always negotiate. You can do this pretty simply by giving a 20K range that you're open to when they ask you in the very beginning of the interview process. And then hopefully you can meet them somewhere in the middle to get your desired salary. I've used these strategies to help myself and plenty of others land high paying data jobs with good companies. And if you implement each one of these and put in enough hard work and elbow grease, you can land one too. All right, so look, landing a six figure data analyst job is totally doable, but you need the right plan and you need to stick with it. If you're looking to learn data skills, I've gotten a ton out of Data Camp's courses over the years. They teach everything step by step, which honestly would have saved me months in the beginning of my journey and, and plenty of frustration when I was first starting out. I've got a link below if you want to check them out. They even offer your first month for free so you can see if it's right for you. Otherwise, watch my previous video on how I actually analyze data using AI. See you in the next one.